Yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Tim Lee Glean. I'm about to come at y'all with some more content, some more music videos, some more music, some more fashion, some more everything, you know, but, you know, I just hope that everything that I'm displaying to you and bringing to you is a blessing. Um, it's a lot going on in this world. It's a lot that's happening in this society today. It's a lot that's transpiring today and you know i really feel like we're in the last days when i say the last days people been saying end times end time prophecies yeah but this is the last day and i believe and this is from what i believe i could be wrong you know christ could come back within the next 100 years 200 years 300 years a thousand years who knows you know but i believe that I don't think we're going to leave this century in this current state. I don't think that it's going to last that long. Just seeing how things are revving up and ramping up, I don't think that we're leaving this century. But I could be wrong. You know, so ultimately, I just trust in the grace of the Father. I have a word for you, though. And because the world is happening the way that it is, do not be afraid to have children. Do not be afraid to get married and have children and have families. I do believe the enemy wants to use these times to make believers scared to bring children into this world. And because of that, that fear of fellow Christians, fellow Mashiach King, fellow people, Kodashim, fellow people that are walking with Christ, that follows the Most High, that guards His ways, those is who the enemy wants to instill fear in to not have children. He don't want you to have children. He don't want kingdom marriages. He don't want people to come together and covenant with Yah. He don't want people to come together in a positive light. He don't want communities, to, especially for the Israelites. He don't want communities to come together. He don't want men to, you know, you know, come back in that place of leadership and headship in their families and in their communities. The enemy don't want that. Hashatan don't want that. But I'm telling you right now. You know, this is the time to not be afraid. I don't mean be reckless and just have children outside of your means. But what I'm telling you is, if you're able to, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. And don't be afraid of what this world is. As long as you and the person that you're with, Ish, Isha, whoever, and if you two are raising your children together in the nurturement and admonition of Yahuwah, then what, what is there to worry about? To bring it for generations, future generations to the light. Because what if, and I'm saying what if, what if Christ don't come back for another 100 years? So that means we got 100 years of believers in the faith that did not have children, that were scared because of the times that we're in now. And they held themselves back from even doing something that Yah's commission it commanded us to do. Because in order for us to bring light into this earth, are we going to let it die with us? Or are we going to raise up another generation to do what we couldn't do or to do what, not to say what we can't do, because all things with the eyes possible. All things are possible through Christ, which strengthens us. But just like the previous generation before us that don't understand our generation, we are a generation that's going to raise up the next generation to experience things that we never experienced in our lives. And we're gonna be those new people that misunderstand our children, that misunderstand our next generations if we're not raising them up in the ways of Yahuwah and teaching them the truth about the world that we're living in. And for just Israelites to treat, teach them the truth about who they are and to understand and acknowledge that, man, we are in the last days, but still, we can't be afraid to do what Yah has called us to do and commanded us to do. It's just like when Yashirel, they were in um, their captivity in Babylon, and, and Yahuwah told them, he told them, like, while you're in that land, he said to build your houses, he said to he said to start your families and to, you know, establish yourselves, even in the land of your captivity at that point. And I believe that parallels to America. I don't believe it's just Egypt. I believe it's the Babylonian captivity that parallels us as well. 
well. So I believe that we should follow that principle and continue to build. But we need to build community. We need to be a people and not this separated, scattered, you know, like we've been scattered across the earth, but now we're waking up in the land of our captivity. This is time for us to wake up. This is time for us to be, our, be a community. It's time for us to love our brother and sister. It's time for us to stop getting on the internet and judging each other and, and speaking down on each other and speaking ill on each other. It's time for us to stop going out in them streets and just speaking bad about one another and just to speak evil towards one another and others to walk past our fellow brothers and sisters out there that's trying to tell us the truth, that's trying to give us the truth. And we looking at them like they crazy. And it's, and it's crazy because I see all of us and just us as a people are separated in so many different philosophies and so many different ways. The moment that we start walking with Yahuwah and get back into his ways, I'm telling you, it's going to be a, it's going to be a wonder. It's going to be something wonderful to see. And watch what happens in a lot of the end time events that start to follow once we start to become a nation more and more. Just watch. Because some people believe that those that are in Israel right now are the people that Yah has chosen to be a people, or to be a nation. And they believe that that's Yah gathering all of the Israelites. Just the Jewish people are all of the Israelites. All 12 tribes are comprised of one tribe in Israel. That don't make sense. But I'm not going to get on that. You know, and... For those that are over there that's coming to Christ, you know, praise Yah for that. And I hope, I truly hope that they are guarding His ways, that are they're walking in His ways, walking boldly. If you see how Christians are treated over there, then you're going to... I don't know, but ultimately, I'm not here to speak about any group of people or any people besides our people, which are the true biblical Israelites. And those that are Christians as well, which are grafted in to the promise of Yasharel through the blood of Yahusha. And, and and that's another thing as well. So I believe all y'all, anybody that's in this, that's walking this walk, I believe that you should not be afraid to have children. Have children. Have them. I'm not saying have 10 children, but I'm saying... Mm -hmm. All these one, two children families, you know, no, it's like, stop being afraid. Because a lot of y'all have the amount of children y'all have because y'all thinking too much about finances. You're thinking too much about this and that. Like I said, you have to be wise, but also you have to stop being afraid. And if you feel like and you have faith that y'all can do something with your, with your future generations, have them. I know you envision it. I know you see it and you're allowing the world and the things of this world and this life to scare you from doing what Yah has called us to do as believers. As people that have faith in the Messiah that he died and risen on the third day and you already have your salvation. Now let's raise up more generations of people that can lead others out of the gutter because we ain't going to be able to touch the generations that's to come like our children. So who are going to be the one to raise them up? It's going to be us. Who's the one that has to step up in that? It's going to be us. Because who's going to... What about your children's children, grandchildren, your great-grandchildren? What about the future generations? We are promised heirs to the promise through Abraham and his faith. So how about we have that faith in our future generations? That we can be... Uh, we're all included in those... The number that count just the, the grains of the sand, the numbers of the stars in the sky. If we look at that as Abraham's generation, as Abraham's seed. If we look at ourselves as that in that promise, then let's continue that. Let's go forth in that with confidence. And I trust and believe, and trust and believe, Yahuwah will bless you. Yahuwah will honor you for having faith in Him with your children, with your future generations. But we got to stop being afraid, and we got to start moving forth. And we're commissioned to do something. We're commissioned to raise up a generation. You know, this says the children are heritage of our Elohim. He's a heritage of Yahuwah. Our children are. You know, our children are like are like arrows in a quiver and we send them forth you know, so what are we going to raise up in this earth are we going to raise up the light or are we going to raise up the darkness in this world or are we going to be fearful and not raise up anything so be, be fruitful and multiply you know? but that's the message I have for today you know praise Yah Yah bless you woo woo